watching a Fox 6 special presentation, the 2005 mayoral debate, sponsored by the San Diego Latino Coalition and Fox 6 News. And welcome everyone to the Fox 6 Mayor's Debate. The forum here is also sponsored by the San Diego Latino Coalition. The coalition is made up of several organizations who promote diversity, and equality for all citizens of San Diego. Well, you talk about receivership, but... Yes, um, I do. Yeah, many, including candidate Pat Shea, has said bankruptcy is the only way out. It's the quickest, it's the easiest, it's the only way out of this mess. Would you keep that option on the table, Donna? Absolutely. Um, I, I, I think you keep all options on the table if, 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 if you can't break the logjam. We have another question from our panel, uh, Ruben Navarrete from the San Diego Union Tribune. We want to talk about the powerful unions, and the reason why we want to talk about this is that everyone is talking about the powerful unions. The city has to work out the pension crisis, possible bankruptcy, or maybe downsize some of the 11,000 employees that we have now. No matter what you do, the dominant city unions are not going to be happy. How are you going to handle the unions? Steve, Francis. Well, unfortunately, uh, I hate to say this, but the unions uh, have created uh, a lot of the problems that we have today in San Diego. Keep it right here on Fox 6. We will have more on the issues, including the Mount Soledad Cross, the strong mayor form of government, and what candidates think about each other. We'll be right back. And welcome back, everybody. We want to jump right into a very controversial topic. Everybody's talking about the Mount Soledad Cross. Proposition A would transfer the Mount Soledad National War Memorial to the federal government. Question is, where do you stand on it? We'll start with Chief Sanders. The uh, cross has been a part of the War Memorial for 50 years. I think it's absolutely imperative we keep it on Mount Soledad. Very important to San Diego. It's a War Memorial, and it needs to stay. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back to our panel of journalists, uh, Desiree Cavajal, the uh, Fox 6 morning anchor. Thank you. Our current city attorney, Michael Aguirre. But let me just follow up here, yeah. if you, if you, just a second here. Since the city of San Diego's ethics commission was established four years ago, we've had two council members convicted for corruption, six pension board members indicted for self-dealing. The federal government has several investigations going on at City Hall. Do you think the ethics commission has been a waste of time? I don't ever think it's a waste of time, but uh, people have to judge whether they think it's effective. I'm going to give you a chance to answer some of your critics. You all know <laughs> about these critics that you have. Mr. Francis, Yes. some critics see you as a businessman, a successful businessman who spent $2 million to buy this election. The big guy coming in here, taking over. Answer your critics. You can buy an election. What you do is you're able to get your message out. Chief Sanders, some people see you as a nice guy, an insider, a lot of friends at City Hall who may have a hard time saying no. Answer your critics. Well, th those people don't understand what it takes to be chief of police. Let's move on to Councilwoman Donna Fry. In the past, the union lady, you've been backed by the union. Some of your critics see you as part of the city council, part of the problem, not the solution. Answer your critics. I, I am supported by labor, and I'm supported by the AFL-CIO, and I'm proud of that endorsement. We'll be back with more of our Fox 6 debate right after these words. Stay right there. And welcome back, everybody. We'll get right back to the issues here. Uh, uh, the Chargers. The Chargers always seem to be threatening to leave for another city. I think, are you as tired of this as I am at this point? Uh, they, uh, they say they want a new stadium. They want to build a new stadium in the current 166-acre site. They plan to take their proposal directly to the voters next year. Give us your take on the Chargers, Mr. Francis. I like the Chargers to stay, but they can't, uh, they can't stay here at ta taxpayers' expense. We are back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, actually, what happened is Donna Fry pulled the plug out while, <laughs> while Jerry Sanders was trying to talk. But we decided we'll come back to Jerry Sanders and give him an opportunity to answer the Chargers' question, sir. And Donna, please don't pull the plug out. <laughs> Donna's too much of a lady to do that. It's, it's live TV, folks. Uh -huh. it's, actually, we had some television problems here, folks, live television. Let's go back to Jerry Sanders one more time. We're going to try to get you to answer this Chargers question yet, sir. Well, I think that was actually a Charger bolt out of the board. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Uh, 
I, I think the Chargers are going to have to put together a good plan to convince the voters that the voters should vote on it. For one brief uh, minute, uh, a closing statement of why you should be elected mayor of San Diego, and we'll start with uh, Jerry Sanders. <coughs> San Diego is experiencing the worst crisis in its history. Uh, we need new experience to turn the city around. Donna Fry, closing statement, please. When, when a lot of these, these issues began, as far as the issues that, that my opponents continue to harp on about the pension crisis, and not to say that it's not a crisis, it certainly is, but there was only one person there at that time who was willing to speak out during the crisis, and that was me. Steve I Francis. need your support. Well, I just responded to what Donna just said. Before she voted f against the underfunding of the pension, she voted, in she voted for the underfunding of the pension before she voted against it. So I think that's important to note. And thank you all very much for joining us for this very, very critical and historic debate. Special thank you to our three candidates, Jerry Sanders, Steve Francis, and Donna Fry, and our panelists, Ruben Navarrete from the San Diego Union Tribune, Fox 6 News morning anchor Desiree Carvajal, Laura Castaneda, uh, independent journalist. In a spirit of cooperation and fair play, Fox 6 News is proud to join together with the Latino community, and we encourage all of you to get out and vote on Tuesday, July 26th. Please join Fox 6 News for continuing updates on the mayor's race and complete election coverage on election night next Tuesday. On behalf of all of us, we thank you so much. We wish you good night and join us tonight for the news at 10 o'clock. is Headline News, First Watch. Hello and good morning, everyone. I'm Brian Christie. Thank you very much for being there. Coming up in the next half hour, First Watch, we'll look at the health and well-being of older Americans. Details on that and more in two minutes. I'm Brian Christie. This is CNN Headline News. Specialists in Belgium are working to fine-tune voice-activated computer software. They're hoping computers soon will be able to react to everything people say. Leader of the Grateful Dead, Jerry Garcia, died five years ago this week. Music and mementos of the band are still a hot item for hardcore fans. Rusty Dornan reports. You can just call him Super Dog. This canine does everything from the shopping to the laundry. And he's redefining the term man's best friend. Richard Blystone reports. I'm Brian Christie. You're watching CNN Headline News. The future is Brian Christie, the high-tech reporter for CNN. Brian, good morning. Good morning, Dave. Nice to talk to you this morning. Yeah, I've got some great gadgets to show you, some yeah. great gizmos. Take a look at this. Hello, I'm Brian Christie. Good morning from historic Montgomery Field in San Diego, California. <laughs> Here at the Chevron station on Ruff and Road in Kearney Mesa, the price for a gallon of gas has reached $1.62 a gallon. That's 15 cents a gallon more than you paid a month ago. And more business owners are beginning to pass the increases on to consumers. Trucking companies and other shippers like UPS and the post office have just announced their own price changes. So you'll see that video tonight on the News at 10. Hope you can join us for that. Now, coming up in one hour, KUSI's annual special presentation of Songs of the Holidays. Next news break in one hour on KUSI. News every hour, every day.